This is a customer's tyre that's coming for repair. It has damage to the sidewall and the sidewall's actually been plugged. Plugging the sidewall is particularly bad because of the flex in the sidewall will make the injury grow. Uh, we're going to vulcanise repair this tyre properly uh, and we're going to take you through the process. My name is Steve Smith. I've worked for TNC Site Services for 25 years and I'm the resident vulcanising expert. The first stage is to cut away the surface rubber to expose the injury. And the first thing we see in this is that the plug has gone nowhere near the initial injury and has done nothing whatsoever to help with the injury. In fact, it's made the injury worse. So the next stage of the process is the rubber's been removed to expose the injury. After that, the rubber will be tidied up and the cords will be exposed so we can see the extent of the damage to the cords. The next stage of the process is to completely expose the cords so we can see all of the damage. The cords will now be removed to ensure that we remove all the damage and we can keep the structural integrity of the tyre intact when we repair it. All of the damage has now been removed from the tyre and we're measuring the size of the injury so we can select the correct patch which will make sure that when the tyre flexes it will keep its structural integrity. The next stage of the process is to buff the inside of the tyre to prepare it to take the patch. The patch will then be glued and adhered to MTR rubber which will enable the patch to be hot cured. The patch has now been adhered to the inside of the tyre and thoroughly stitched to ensure there's no air trapped underneath the patch. The outside of the tyre will now be glued so we can extrude rubber into the tyre to fill it from the outside.
The outside of the tyre has now been filled with rubber and stitched to make sure there's no air pockets. The tyre has now been set up on the machine, which consists of two heat pads, one on the outside, one on the inside, one airbag on the outside and two airbags on the inside. We can now apply heat and pressure to the tyre for the vulcanising process. The vulcanising process is now complete and we'll dismantle the machine, removing the airbags and the heat pads. We will allow the tyre to cool further. When the tyre is sufficiently cool, we will buff the repaired area to make the tyre more aesthetically pleasing. The tyre has now been buffed following the original contours of the tyre and that's the final stage of the repair process. So in summary, we've patched from the inside and filled from the outside which keeps the air in and keeps the water out. <laughs>